All right, people have been asking me to do this vid, so we doing it. Here we are today. <sighs> All right, strap in, man. I'm about to tell y'all about who got me high, bro. Who was the first person to ever get me on the side? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. This story's kind of <laughs> story kind of funny, bro. Cause like the person that like got me to get high or to smoke was probably the person that I at least expected to, which is kind of crazy because it was somebody I wasn't even really cool with. But we're going to get there, bro. So anyways, I always was somebody that was afraid to get high, bro. I ain't going to lie. Growing up, even though I was somebody that was around a terrible neighborhood and terrible things like violence uh, and, and forms of like stabbing and shooting and fighting, bunch of drug users, addicts, all types of shit. I was not somebody that was uh for lack of better words usually or easily scared but for some reason i was kind of scared to get high though because i always felt like it was going to affect me mentally and it, funnyly enough it did but <laughs> it's besides the point bro the, what i'm trying to say is i was kind of terrified of it the, the just like the fact that my mind was going to be in, in a different place bro because like getting high be putting you in like a different existence like it'd be for me at least when i green out it feels like i'm fucking like i'm dying or something like something's wrong with me my brain feels like it's not functioning and working the right way and it just whew, it's just bad it's all bad bro but it's okay though because you know at some point in life you gotta try things that you're afraid to try bro so that's exactly what i wanted to do basically i made that decision that i was going to get high it took me a while to get to that point bro and you know i would always people would ask me all the time right if people you know tyrone would come up to me yo shin yo shin yo i'm not gonna lie shin i'm out of breath right now shin your boy tyrone just ran 18 blocks to get here shin uh, I ain't gonna hold you, son. And, and I got the goddamn Louis Vuitton pajamas on right now, son. Goddamn Louis Vuitton joints. So you know I'm sweating right now, son. It smells crazy in these pajamas, son. But listen, son. Listen, man. I was in Amish smoking big old doinks in Amish. Bro, didn't that guy die? Actually, son, I don't know. I, I think he did, son. But that's besides the point, son. Do you want to smoke this big doink with me? Yo, first off, asking a grown man if you want to smoke a big doink with you is mad pause. That's AO, first and foremost. But secondly, no, bro. You know I'm not smoking, bro. Especially with you, bro. Nobody knows where your mouth been at, Tyrone. I ain't gonna lie. All you do is talk to skeezers all day. You probably done ate the box of some thought ass bitch earlier. First of all, shun, your boy Tyrone, do not eat the box, shun. I stay away from the box, shun. I am not Roddy Rich, okay, shun? Now, I'm not going to lie, shun. There was that one time I ate that one bitch ass, shun. But that, that's besides the point. But everybody would just ask me all the time, bro. Will you hit this blunt? Are you going to hit this blunt with me? You want to smoke, bro? Roll up, bro. Match, bro. And I always would say no. But this one day I decided, like I said earlier, that I was going to get high, bro. It was going to happen. And the next time somebody asked me to get high, or the next time I had an opportunity to, I was just going to do it no matter what. <sighs> I don't know why I said that dumb ass shit. So I went to school this day, bro. We all at the bus stop. And there was this one kid, we'll just call him Richard in this video. Now, Richard, I did not like him, bro. I also had issues with his mom, bro. So his mom, we could call her uh, Elizabeth, right? Now, Elizabeth was, uh, she was one of our neighbors. She lived in the same projects as us, but like across the parking lot, basically. Kind of like on the corner of the square. And she was like cool at first. When I first met, you know, Richard and met his mom, you know, I thought that they were like really cool people. Me and Richard used to play the game all the time. We weren't always like beefing. We was cool at first. I used to go over his house, used to play Xbox with him all the time. It was mad cool. His sisters were mad cool. Everything was sweet, bro. I'm not gonna lie. But this one time I went over there and there's this girl that I knew from the hood that was chilling with Richard's mom. Now me and that shorty, I ain't gonna lie, nigga hit that before. So, you know, obviously she's acting kind of weird that I'm in there because it was one of those situations where I hit it, but I dubbed her after. But like not intentionally, I just kind of like moved on type shit. So she was kind of telling his mom all these bad things about me that weren't true. And his mom believed it. So this one time I'm at the bus stop, like I just said, and everybody chilling. And this dude Richard's there. And obviously me and him weren't cool at this point because his mom wasn't fucking with me because of that lying ass bitch. But she come out there thinking that I'm talking to him. And she's like, stay away from my son. And I'm like, what? 
Like, what are you talking about? Stay away from your son. Bro, I don't give a fuck about your son, bro. So, you know, I started wigging. I ain't gonna lie. Now, one of my homeboys, one of my closest homies, his mom was right on the corner. And I'm like, nah, 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 chill, chill, chill. Like, I ain't even tripping. I ain't tripping because she wanted to beat her ass. So I started wigging on her, though. I'm like, yo, first off, I don't give a fuck about your son, bitch. What you need to worry about is lotioning your fucking knees. You outside, it's cold, and you got fucking ash all on your shit. The fuck is you talking about? I start going crazy. Like, bitch, shut the fuck up before I spit on your knees. Fucking rusty bitch. Yo, I'm, I'm wilding, bro, because I'm mad at this point. Because, like, who the fuck are you talking to? So then me and Richard get into it. Because, you know, obviously, he don't want me talking to his mom like that. But I don't give a fuck. Fuck his mom. So me and Richard going back and forth. I'm talking crazy. Calling him all types of hoes and bitches. Talking about his big ass shacks that he had on his feet. Motherfucker looked like he was out there hooping for the Lakers. And then he... <laughs> And then he fucking retired with the Celtics and a nigga was ass. All right, my fault. But I'm, you know, flaming him crazy, talking crazy to her, bro. But, you know, Richard, he saw, so he wasn't going to do shit. So, you know, after, you know, I get done talking crazy and all that, everything cool. We get on the bus and I'm just sitting in the back of the bus and me and him just chopping it up, bro. And I'm just like, man, I ain't going to lie, bro. Your mom fucking tweaking, bro. I ain't do shit to her, man. I ain't do shit to you. He like, man. Man, I know, man, but like, it's my mom, though. Like, so it's like, you know, you know how it is, man. I gotta take up for my mom. I'm like, bro, you know your mom wrong, bro. You need to put your foot down. You a grown ass man. I mean, we only 16, but you damn near grown. Fuck is you talking about? Now, I'm not going to lie. At this point in time, I'm 16. I had smoked before, but like, up until this point, I never really smoked no loud, though. I only would smoke Reggie and shit. So, like, I never greened out. I never, like, I honestly feel like I never had got high until this point because like reggie like i don't know just like you was high but like it was just like such a mild high that it didn't feel like it so i guess this video is a tiny bit misleading but it's still true i didn't really get high up until this point in my opinion like really high bro until you hit the loud it was just i don't know man it's something different about it but this day in particular me and richard we chopping it up in the back of the bus after everything happened and you know i'm just telling him that his mom is wrong and he's like no nah, man i just feel like da, 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 da. i gotta protect my mom i'm a big bitch it's like bro i don't care your mom is wrong and you know it but i get it though it's his mother so it's like it's what it is so rich is like look man i don't even want to beef with you bro i feel like we should just link up man let's just smoke one and chill man like for old time's sake at this point i'm like man fuck it the opportunity arose and i said i was gonna get high so i'm gonna do it so there y'all have it man the first person to ever really get me high off the loud was a nigga I was beefing with, bro. We smoked the blunt together, chopped it up like nothing happened. The craziest thing about this, though, is after we got high, bro, and I got high with this nigga, I stayed cool with him. We just stopped beefing. One blunt, we was cool. The saddest thing about all of this, though, man, is years later, and I guess it's probably been like a year now, but basically last year, that same kid that, you know, we call him Richard, you see, he went away to the military and stuff. He was stationed and some tragic accident happened. He actually passed away, man. First dude ever put me on the gas, man. And he passed. Shit sad when you think about it, man, but it's just like, damn. I'm just glad that me and him ended on a good foot, man, you know. That shit is tragic new paddock, bro. And even his mom, like me and his mom cool to this day. You know, when he passed away, I went to the, you know, situation and with the funeral and everything and talked to her. And, man, it was rough, man. Sad, but I feel really bad for her because she's lost two of her kids. She lost one of her uh, daughters, I think, the cancer and then lost him. Like, tch. That shit is tragic, bro. But it's one of them situations, man. You just like be throwing punches sometimes, man. Well, at least me and my homie Richard got to share a blunt together, dog.